Let's look into the film. In this video, we're looking at, of course, Cooper Rush to Simi Fihoko. And Simi did a great job of climbing right inside, turning back to the ball, greets the ball with his hands. I love it. Uh, not allowing the ball to hit his body. And Simi did a great job in this game, although he was only targeted twice and had 18 yards and a touchdown. Uh, but when we look at everything, I, I pretty much like his size and his ability with his speed to get open. Now, on this play, they did a double deep cross here. And we can see that my guy Hendershot is able to pull the ball out of the sky. But pay attention to this defensive back right here. He creases down inside to cover Simi Fihoko. And that's a great concept by Kellen Moore on that play. Double deep crosser in the middle of the field. Hey, we need to see that when the season season kick off. And Cooper would pay attention to the offensive lines on this battle right here. Everybody was pretty much solid. Gave Cooper Rush a, a clean pocket to make this throw. And pay attention to 65. He got his hands inside. And then, of course, everyone else. Everyone else. My guy Collins doing a great job. Even Ball is doing a wonderful job. And give you this clean pocket, this good look for Peyton Hendershot. That's a great concept. But now it's Danucci time, baby. Danucci went deep with it on the first play. I love it. Benjamin Danucci is not playing around with it. And he using the size and the physical strength of his wide receiver. Trusting his one-on-one -on -one reads right there. And Brandon Smith just pulled the ball out of the sky. Had an unbelievable training camp. Uh, so far and, and we can look at the lines protected one thing that I got to bring up it was raining out there and storming raining and Danucci had the worst luck with that right he get a chance to come out to play and it's raining everywhere so you're going to see some effects to that nevertheless uh, when you look at Danucci clean pocket able to get the ball out to his guy and like I said, it's raining. He's supposed to catch that TJ Vasher, and he's not able to pull that one in. But I do like the fact that you can see some of the growth aspect out of Danucci. Stand tall in the pocket, climb up, and he goes to his target. And and I believe it, if it was dry, TJ would have caught that one. All right, so when we look at this, you know, the sidearm wonder, Benjamin Danucci. Danucci time, right? Gave us a little energy spark when he came out there on the field it was just raining real real bad you can't see it from this view but from the side view you can definitely see the rain just pouring down when the Nucci came out there and it made passes a little bit more difficult now here's the Nucci and shotgun get a free play and he is angry he's mad about it look at him he give he's jawing the officials saying no i I did the hard count. I wanted them to go offside so I can go deep. And watch, on the very next play, he does another hard count. And watch what happens. Yeah, you know. So those are things that I see that Danucci got a little moxie about him. You know, he he's saying, hey, I drew this man offside. And that's what we do around here. A little veteran move. And I love seeing it. Believe it or not, Cowboy Nation, Danucci drops back. And he got quick feet and get around nifty enough. And this is just a throwaway. Now, he had a clean look to the right side of the field. But keep in mind, it is pouring down raining right now. And shame, 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 shame. <laughs> uh, and we went over this uh, last night going over the offensive line response on that. And you can clearly see that it's, it was pretty much hard to block this one they scooped 96 all the way around and 75 blocked the entire guy did a wonderful job on that play right there that delay was just beautiful the way the denver broncos drew that play up nevertheless this have to be the smoothest incompletion ever right watch how smooth that nucci is knives right in there watch how he just pivots <laughs> that's smooth man that's smooth watch how he just get out of the way yeah you can't hit me it would have been dope if the receiver was able to catch that nevertheless good throwaway and Danucci he rolls out they drop seven 
And keep in mind, I think Kellen Moore still have difficulties. Difficulties dialing up offenses that uh, affects the drop seven look. And the Denver Broncos only rush four. And we only send three out on routes. You're not going to get a comfortable look out of this, right? If anything, this play should have been audible out into another one. I don't know if Danucci had that type of command with his offense, but you can see they're going to drop seven, rush four, and Danucci still get four and a half yards close to five off of this play. They send three versus seven. That's not a favorable look. You get sprinkles at the end of this to peel out as a late delay on the outside. Nevertheless, Danucci is able to tuck the ball and get the necessary yards four yards four and a half yards off of that one so that's not bad at all good recovery using your legs and great pepper on this ball right here great pepper they dropping everybody you got to kill them with the underneath and decide on one to get it out that's what i like to see so when they drop those dbs and linebackers you got to kill them underneath not necessarily over the top especially when it's raining like that you got to kill him underneath, and Danucci is able to get that ball out quickly to his target there. And Danucci drops back. Good shoulder fake right there, and he got him. He got him, you know. And, of course, a stick move on my guy, TJ, double move on the outside. And watch Danucci. That's a good read right there. And if it wasn't for the hold, I think that that would have been a good chunk, good play. So you got to give him a positive on this. And watch the shoulder shrug right here. Nucci doing his magic right there. I like it. And, of course, they they flagged him. They flagged the guy over here for pulling on the cloth. That could have been a real big play for T.J. Vasher. And I love it when I see it. And Danucci, side on wonder. Once again, it's not his fault. Good read by Danucci. Just horrible hands. And, and keep in mind, we've seen, what, two or three drops so far. And this one, ball wet hands wet and it's right there in the mittens you're supposed to be able to catch this one and it pops up yep so that's not the nucci fault <laughs> so I, I would like to see the nucci and more reps and i think that they should still try to develop him versus cooper rush out there but that's the story of another day and of course little side dump off pass quick read got to go to your hots on this one and i love it because make them pay they dropping you kill them underneath there's nothing wrong with that that's the strong side of your offense they trying to play this uh prevent drop everyone type of deal and no nah, you just hit them with that make them make them pay make them play honest and that's a quick first down look at them calling the play calling the protection drops back okay i'm gonna give it out to my guy out in space and he's gonna get the first down that's Cavante turpin motion 19 to the right side of the field he points out the mic the mic say oh i'm discovered he drops back and he still blitz in and Danucci, good read by the way and of course a flag <laughs> it shouldn't be on us but he pointed out the mic i love seeing this okay that's the mic 43 and then slide protection yeah get there give it out to my hot right here and he gives it to my guy, Dontario Drummond. Not bad at all. All right, so here's Danucci under center now. They motion. A little play action there. Escape. Give it to my guy, 34. It would have been a touchdown, but he slipped, slide because it's wet. And he knows it. 34 knows it, right? A great play, drawn up, evade, design. And yeah, he falls down. If it was any other situation, let me slow it down for you guys. He was cutting back inside. He see, I think that that's Braylon Jones. He would block 54. 80 would have walled off 35, and that's a walk-in touchdown. Yeah, yeah, he's cutting right back in. Nobody's right there. Nobody would have been able to stop him. And Malik Davis, hell of a day, man. Uh, and he had the open field right here, but <laughs> no slip monster, you know. Those cliques, maybe he should have went with an inch deeper. It started to rain sporadically. You know how it goes. Y'all played the game. Y'all played the game where all of a sudden he's slippery out there. And this Danucci, 
running off to the edge and he slides to save himself that's not bad no no need to try to dive in there head first i like this because Danucci with the ability to run versus being a statue out there he didn't like what he was able to see and just take it off with his legs make him play honest that's what i like to see and Danucci may live to fight another day right so they back in shotgun they motion turpin to the right side of the field he looks left and my thing is if i can give a grade on this one he should have did a three-step drop and climbed the pocket versus versus a five-step drop out of shotgun pay attention to the feet his stance and his get off and all of that get off yep one two three four five you should have did a three-step drop you had your guy right here in the flats and even if you wanted to look there you had a natural pick right here and you could have thrown anywhere to the inside of the numbers there now granted granted the five steps i get it it's wet it's raining and of course he'd probably panic a little bit but he's gonna make up for it one two three step inside isaac did a great job of blocking on the outside look both both of your tackles did a great job of containment now you you step back out of the coverage right here now is the time to climb look at that pretty pocket right there look at the wall that isaac did look at the wall that even collins did and all you have to do is step inside make that throw or go to your flat to the opposite side here you have protection now granted like i said it's raining it's wet and he probably was kind of nervous a little bit right so he's back in shotgun now empty drops back one two three and now he's climbing the pocket see touchdown i love it and that's simi fihoko uh and the thing that i love about simi is that hey he knows that he's six foot three and a half and he runs find his spot position for his spot post out high point the ball from here it's man to man at this point even though they are playing in a zone a loose man zone so he's able to post them out just like basketball and high point that thing that's what i like to see simi simi did his job and shout out to denucci because he's in shotgun three-step drop and then climb to make your read to make your throw there you go and of course he stared down simi but you had that on the strong side anyway. You had three guys over there. And this was the last play of uh, Danucci in this game. And that was the last play right there. And shout out to TJ Vasher for coming back securing the catch on that one. Overall, I like Danucci in this game. Uh, I know that the Cowboys lost 17 to 7. Nevertheless, Danucci looked a little bit more comfortable than Cooper Rush. He attempted to throw the ball deep down the field and he was able to scramble a little bit better. And he had a little bit more of command of the team with the hard count and he, he barked back at the aficionados. I love that. That's a, uh, that's a plus plus in my book. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. DC for life. Salute.